let me say this from the jump. I believe in marriage. I believe in the institution of marriage. I think marriage is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But marriage is work. It's not as easy as people think it is. People think that it's a, it's a lot harder to be single. I'd say, you know, it takes a lot more strength to be married. Over the years, I've heard it said that two is better than one, right? And that, you know, when you have two set of eyeballs or when you have two minds or, you know, an extra pair of hands, you know, many hands make the work light, right? We've heard this many a times. And I've also heard it talked about, you know, strength, about, you know, being one that can stand alone on your own two feet. That shows strength. And I agree with that. But let me also put this perspective on it. It's much easier to stand alone because you only have to be accountable to you. But when you get with someone and you guys have to become one, it's a lot more difficult to make two into one. And anybody who's been in a relationship knows this. It's a whole lot easier when you're standing on your own two feet and you have to be accountable to only you, right? You have to make decisions that only affect you. You have to do things that only benefit you for the most part. But when you have a significant other, when you have someone that you are married to or you're engaged to, you're considering marrying, these are the things that you have to really look at because it's a lot more harder and difficult to take two individuals and mesh them into one to where they can agree together, they can work together, they can live together, they can experience together. That's a whole lot more harder than just being responsible for one's self. You dig? In my opinion, that's all I'm saying. A lot of people are under, are under the conception that, you know, if I had some help, right? If, 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 if I had somebody that was standing in the gap with me, then it would be easier, right? It wouldn't be so hard trying to do it by oneself. And there is a lot of truth to that. But people are under the misconception that get into that point of having someone, having support, you know, having help, get into that point takes a lot of work. You're just not going to walk up into that that space, into that arena. You're not just going to find somebody that you like and that they like you and then you guys just and you guys say, "Hey, let's let's do this." And it's no challenge, it's no pushback, there's no having to problem solve. That doesn't work that way. So, it's a lot easier when you're by yourself and you have to make decisions for yourself and you have to do things for yourself then considering someone else, their feelings, their emotions, what they want, what they don't want, are our goals lining up together as we push forward. You dig? That's a whole lot harder. That takes more effort. It takes more energy and more work, more planning, more strategic moves. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go do what you want to do on a whim when you feel like it because you think today I want to go do this. No, there's an accountability partner there. So again, in my opinion, it's a whole lot more easier to move and operate when you don't have someone to be responsible to or accountable to, right? Then when you have someone that there is that accountability. When you have someone that you have to check with first, that you have to get permission, or you have to make sure that it's cool and that you guys are in agreement and on the same page, that takes work. And that is a whole lot more harder than standing on your own two feet. And if you don't believe that, just go ask some married people that you know. I'm sure you know some married folks. Ask them. Is it more stressful being married or was it less stressful when you were single? Y your answer is going to vary, but I would think that more than likely, most of the people that you know and I know that are married 
are going to say that it's more stressful now than it was when they were single. But when you when you went over years, right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it becomes less and less and less stressful because you have become one. You know each other. You've learned each other. You're comfortable with each other. You have accepted each other in all facets. Successes, failures, shortcomings, triumphs, you, you know, victories, tragedies. You've become one. You've learned each other. You know each other. So that makes things easier. But that journey, that process, it's not easy by no stretch. It's quite difficult. And that's why you need to have strength to endure that. You need to be a strong person to accept someone else and to yet still love them and still consider them and put them first and honor them and all of those things. That takes strength, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, married life is a wonderful life. It's a great life. I want to be in that camp one day. But being single is a whole lot less stressful than being married. I can say what I want to say. And I can talk just how the heck I want to talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Regardless who don't like it. When it's just me. You know what I'm saying? I only have to be, be responsible to the Lord. I don't have to be responsible to nobody else. But when there is someone else. When there is a significant other, when you have made that decision to commit yourselves together, then it ain't about just you. And you can't just do what you want to do. That is a lot harder when it comes to self-discipline and telling yourself no, telling yourself you cannot have, telling yourself you got to check with the other person before you move. That takes a lot of discipline, a lot of work, a lot of you know, love for the other person, considering the other person, putting what they want and how they feel above your own. That takes work. So in my humble opinion, it's a whole lot more easier doing it by yourself than doing it with another person. But it's just another perspective. One love.